Now, you mentioned Gus Malzahn at UCF. He replaced Josh Heupel, who is now up at Tennessee, who is off to a great start themselves. Uh, I know you're on the opposite side of the state from Tennessee, but it sounds to me, based on talking to you, like there are plenty of people in Memphis still covering the, not covering, following the, the Vols, uh, especially with med school there, other things. You know, what's the feeling in the state of Tennessee about Tennessee? And, and do you expect, uh, what do you expect them to do this weekend against Alabama? Well, it's funny because when I got here in 2018, I think that was right when Tennessee had just hired Jeremy Pruitt. So it was kind of that net, you know, new car smell vibe with him. But also we saw that it wasn't a great car, if you want to put it that way. Um, uh, Tennessee's fall kind of, you know, had, you know, people in Memphis looking around like, you know, puffing out their chest a little bit and rightfully so. I mean, Memphis has been in the shadow of the SEC programs and that kind of, you know, helped them during their rise where Tennessee was kind of falling a little bit. And so now you're seeing Tennessee start to reassert itself and be the program that, you know, historically it has been in the SEC. And so there are definitely people here who are very proud, very happy. I see a lot more Vols gear on Saturdays when I'm walking around or being out in the city. Um, and I think this Saturday's game is going to be interesting. I, I talked to a couple of uh, Alabama fans I know, and they're a little bit nervous. And I know they're always nervous typically about every game, but this Tennessee team, I mean, you look at what they're doing on offense. I think Josh Heupel's offense has been good as advertised. Hendon Hooker has been really, really good. A um, couple of Memphis guys up there, Jabari Small, have been really good. So um, I think it's going to be a very interesting game. And again, when Tennessee is good, I think you kind of can see why that's been one of the you know established brands of the SEC that – People love them. Obviously, College Game Day is going back there for the second time this season to Knoxville. Um, so I think there's people who are a lot more excited and curious. Like, look, this is a, a Memphis city, but let's be honest. It's an SEC city more because you have fans who are from Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Arkansas, Tennessee. So when Tennessee is rolling, I think you're going to see a lot of people on Saturday decked out in their orange, you know, hopefully ready to sing Rocky Top if, uh, if that game is close in the second half. Carl, our resident Tennessee fan here, says he's feeling great about Saturday. So we'll follow up with Carl on Monday and see how he feels.